Hey guys, what's up? JK with Porn Reboot here. Today I want to talk about relationships and porn and masturbation. And I'm going to break it down into two parts. I'm going to talk about young guys and relationships. And by young guys, I mean anybody who is 35 years old and under. And then I'm going to talk about older gentlemen in relationships. And by older, I mean 35 years and above. This is something I come across when speaking to my clients uh, in many of the emails I receive. And that is young men medicating the pain of a bad or a dead relationship with pornography. Maybe you're in your 20s or in your 30s. And all through your teen years, you felt lonely. Maybe you had a lot of social anxiety. Maybe you're a late bloomer. I'm a late bloomer. That means you really didn't come into yourself. You didn't really know how to be attractive or talk to women or put the attractive parts of your personality out there till a little later than other guys. You know, you may have been the, the teenager who watched everybody getting laid at 17, 18, 19, 20, even your early 20s in college and you were just a regular guy and the women kind of didn't notice you or you were just a nice guy and still are. Well, now you're in a relationship and you're still watching porn and you're still masturbating. You may be in a sexual relationship with your partner. There are also some guys who are not in a sexual relationship. You may be conservative Christian or conservative Muslim or some other religion. But the point is this. You still feel very strong attraction to other women. And you're young. And in some cases, the relationship that you're in is really not going anywhere. It's sometimes even a bad relationship. And the question I want to ask you is, or rather, the question I want you to ask yourself is, are you medicating the pain of a bad relationship with pornography and masturbation? Is the relationship dead? Is the relationship you're in, has it run its course? Or do you no longer feel attraction to this woman, but you're still with her because you are afraid of being alone? Because you do not think that if this woman leaves, or if you leave this woman, or if the relationship is terminated, you don't believe if you can, you can get another woman. Some of you, you are with a woman, and uh, the way you view her, she's a pretty girl. Maybe you see other guys checking her out. Maybe family members give you compliments on how lucky you are to be with such a woman. And um, you're just like, well, she's hot, she's nice, she's this, she's that. We have a tendency to look at the people that we care for or we are infatuated with sometimes through rose-colored glasses. We highlight their positives and kind of deflect or ignore the negative aspects of them. One thing, for instance, could be Maybe you do want to achieve some big things in life, but the amount of time you're giving to your girlfriend is taking away from that. And when you don't spend enough time with her, maybe she gets upset. As a result, as a young man, you're not able to pursue your mission. On top of that, while you're pursuing your mission, you're just like, man, why do I feel attracted to other women? Now, when guys in their 20s come to me and they say, JK, um, I'm 21 years old, I'm 20 years old, and I'm with this girl, and I want to be in a committed relationship. I really, really do, and I feel bad because I'm masturbating and looking at other women. They think I'm going to tell them, hey, good job, man, you should be in that relationship, but I don't, because I don't believe that a man who is 20 years old, or 19, or 18, or 22, or even 23, has any business being in a long-term committed relationship with a goal of marriage. You simply do not have enough experience in life. Let me tell you why. I'm going to jump forward now to my clients who are over the age of 35 and who are in their 40s and 50s. Now my brothers, you all are older. All through your life, 
you worked hard, perhaps you got, you met a woman, you had sex with women here or there, maybe one or two, or maybe just one woman, and then you married her. Because society, your religion, all kinds of things said that, you know, you should settle down. So you settled down and you had kids. You were okay financially. And suddenly you hit your late 30s, early 40s, and you realize something. Now, this is something society does not talk about. But you realize that you're no longer physically attracted to your partner. There's a difference between being in a healthy, monogamous relationship and having a problem with pornography. And there is a difference between being in a relationship that was not supposed to work out. And you're using pornography and masturbation to ignore that very harsh reality. You're using porn and masturbation to ignore the fact that now that you're in your 30s and 40s, you are making more money than you ever did. You are more attractive than you ever were. And soon, you will cross a line where you no longer have the looks and a lot of the resources that would, in the most raw sense, make you attractive to younger women. Let us speak plainly, because I know from speaking to hundreds of men who are over the age of 35 who are married, I know that we do not talk about these things. Y'all don't talk about it to your friends because your married friends will berate you and tell you like, how dare you think of that, John? John, you've got kids and you've got a wife. You're an upstanding member in society, okay? Why are you thinking of something like this? We are ashamed when men go through their midlife crises, you're told that you're being childish and juvenile. You're trying to regain your lost youth by buying a sports car. And uh, some men get divorced and get together with a younger woman. The reality is, porn and masturbation aside, if you did not explore and experience your youth, your 20s and even your early 30s, to its maximum potential. And what I mean by that is, if you didn't really work hard in those years, you know, if you wanted to build a business, you were young, you didn't have to get married, you could now go for that. If you wanted to travel, you could do that. If you wanted to date many women, maybe if you were not the type of guy to, you know, go out and hook up, that's fine. But maybe you just wanted to go out and date different women, experience different women, that's fine. You could be a serial monogamist and date different women, but you didn't do that. You got hitched to the first girl who was pretty enough for your low self-esteem. Your self-esteem was like, wow, I'm with a hottie. I'm never going to get this chance again. And your buddies were like, bro, you better wife her up. And you did that. There's nothing wrong with being in your 30s and 40s and coming to this realization that maybe you could have done something different. It's not my job to tell you what to do with your life. It's my job to help you quit porn and masturbation. This video is to get you seriously thinking about things, not to impose any lifestyle on you. And for those of you who are younger, I really want you to consider that. If you are in your early 20s or if you are in your late 20s and you do not have a lot of dating experience and you have not resolved a lot of issues from your past, I caution you highly against committing to a long-term relationship, especially if you have a problem with porn and masturbation, because porn and masturbation is not going to be fixed by getting married, especially for those of you who are virgins, those of you who come from conservative cultures or religions. You think that having sex with one woman is going to solve it, but I take calls every single day from men who tell me otherwise. Some of them, they realize, oh, wow, well, getting married and getting into a relationship and having sex didn't solve it, so perhaps having a child will solve it. No, having a child is a huge commitment. Having a child means that for the next 18 to 20 years, you are going to have massive expenses and you are not going to be able to back out of a relationship which may not have been meant to be. So the point of this video 
is to number one, get you to question if you are in a relationship, whether it is the right relationship for you and whether you are using pornography and masturbation to medicate it. I know some of you are afraid. You're afraid and you're thinking, JK, but if I get out of a relationship, I'm going to be lonely. I've done this before and when I was out of a relationship, I masturbated and watched porn even more. At least when she's there, when she's there with me in the apartment, when she's there with me in the house, I don't act out. So maybe it's a good thing for me to be there. No. It is a good thing for you to be in control of your sexual behavior and not need another human being there to control it. I am going to call you out on that if that is what you believe. For those of you who are older and you're in a relationship that is dead and you think, you think, hey, you know what? If I stop watching porn and masturbating, this relationship is going to be fixed. Try it. Watch my YouTube videos join my free course. If you need to get on a call with me, get on a call with me and let's talk about it. But if you control your porn use and your masturbation use in your relationship, and despite that, you still have problems, you still have intimacy problems, there is something else that might be going on and you want to question that. Because there are also some men who were watching porn and masturbating before they got married They got married and they carried that on for 20 years, for 15 years, for 30 years. And your partner doesn't know about it, you know? Now, there's a last group I'm going to address. And it is those of you who are narcissists, the alpha males, who it is... Y'all will watch the videos, but your ego is so big that you're not going to seek help. Y'all are the guys who are watching cuckold porn and you are so deep in your delusion about your porn addiction that you have manipulated your partner into watching porn with you. You have manipulated your partner into fulfilling your cuckold fantasies through swinging with you. Is cuckoldry my fetish or does it come from porn? There's only one way to find out, brothers. And the only way to find out whether cuckoldry is a fetish for you, which they are fetishes, ain't nothing wrong with that, or whether it is porn-induced, is to quit porn and masturbation for a while and give your brain a chance to rewire. You'll find out soon enough. But many of you are straight-up porn addicts. Y'all are living that Pornhub lifestyle uploading videos there you know you're deep in it but you suspect you have a problem that's the third category but i want you to know that you are destroying if it is porn induced if this fetish is porn induced you are destroying the self-esteem of your partner because there are many women who come out of these relationships completely broken you are insecure about your partner You don't know if you can keep your partner. So insecure because she's so pretty and your self-esteem is so low. So you imagine other men having sex with her and that's how you deal with it. That's a deeper issue. I help men overcome that as well. So brothers, that is my thought for today. I really want to make it clear that I have no intention to insult anyone. I have no intention to challenge your religious beliefs. If you believe in being celibate till marriage, I respect that. There are men who come to me and I work with many men, young men as well. I respect all of that. Again, the purpose of this is just to get you to think and look at your relationship through a different lens. I would really love to hear some of your thoughts about this. Uh, Leave your messages in the comments. If you want it to be more private, you can email me at jkemezi at elevatedrecovery.org. And if you want to get on a call with me, you want to talk about one of these things that I've been bringing up on my daily drives, there's a link. It says work with me where you can request a call, okay? 
the only catch is that you have to be over 25 years old to speak to me for free. And we're going to find out if and how I can help you put together some kind of recovery plan for you and set you on the right path, okay? I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. I wish you a wonderful weekend. Take care.